Oop, there we go. That is how you locate a broken trace wire on a gas pipe. Hey guys, Ben here, Geelong Cable Locations. In today's video, I wanna show you how to locate a broken trace wire on a gas pipe. So we have got a gas meter just over there. I've already located it coming over to here. Over here, my signal stops. I can't get it any further. I've dug down as you can see, and I found the trace wire is broken there. And that's where the other end is. So I know the trace wire still does continue on, but for some reason it's broken just here. Now, this is the best case scenario that you dig down, you see it. What you do now is you bite onto the other end of it and then you locate where it goes the other way because you've been down and I can bite onto it there. Unfortunately, you can't always do that. Sometimes the trace wire breaks in the middle of the road. You can't, uh, you can't dig up a road or a footpath or wherever it might be, or you just might not have time to dig down and expose it. You just want to try to get to the end and, sit, and or you want to dig down at the other end. So what you do in that situation is you get your transmitter, place your transmitter down before it breaks. So again, it's broken around there. We're going to place it just before that. We're not going to place it right on the end. We're going to place it before. You set the frequency to 200. Let's go down to Yes, I know it's going to be a very, very, very high frequency, but let's just give it a go. 200 kilohertz. And come for a walk. Let's see how we go. Okay, we'll go to where the new fence is going to be built. Come along. Look at that. Right there. And have a look in here. There we go. There is our gas pipe. So, despite the fact of having a broken trace wire right there, we've still been able to locate it further by simply placing a transmitter down over there. Now, you have a lot of people say 200 kilohertz is far too high a signal. You shouldn't use that high a signal. Let me show you. Let me sh uh, let's go down a, a, a touch. Let's go down to 131. Let me show you what happens if you go to a lower frequency. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do your normal locating in 200 kilohertz. That's far too high. Uh, but for situations like this, uh, 200 is the way to go. 200 or higher if you can. So let me show you. Let's. All right, 131. Ready? Let's see what happens at 131. So let's cheat. We already know it's over right there. Turn the uh, gain up high. Nothing. Look at that. Nothing at all. So we know it's there. Ready, let's try that again. The only difference is we're on 131 instead of 200. And yes, 131 is a very high frequency, but 200 is higher. And again, ideally, because you're using such a high frequency, what the ideal would be to do is to, as I've done here, dig down and confirm that you've definitely located it. Because the issue of using such a high frequency is that it can jump onto anything else in the area. So if we had other services through here, there's a high chance that signal would have jumped onto something else. So again, this is best case scenario because we were able to dig down here and confirm it and see it here. So we knew that there was a trace wire that continued on. But how do we know that that trace wire from the gas meter didn't stop there? And they decided not to continue it on. I have seen that happen before where they've just laid as much as they had and they didn't have any, anything else so they didn't lay anything else any further so there's a there was a chance that that might that signal might have jumped onto the power coming across or water coming across or anything else so always dig down at the end point and just confirm that what you've located is what you think it is all right guys hope that helps any questions leave a comment below and uh yeah if not i'll see you in the next video bye